paint all the things. Hello everyone and welcome to Fort Masters vlog for the Warhammer 4000 gaming system created by Games Workshop based in the UK. And welcome to day 53 of this vlog. Today is my actual birthday so congratulations to myself. I have survived for 28 years. That's amazing considering that I had a self prophecy that I would not live past the day of 25. So this is 25 plus 3 years. So congratulations to me. So we can take a quick look at uh, our summer challenge, uh, 2018 summer painting challenge and how it's gone so far. Well, wh what I forgot to mention in the previous part, uh, which was well, last week, is that I have uh, finished reading three books and I've done written three book reviews, so that's a total worth of 80 points. I made a movie review last week, which uh, was uh, Crazy Stupid Love, which is another 10 points. I finished 15 cultists and 4 poxwalkers and at the moment when I'm recording this I forgot to write it down so that's a bit embarrassing but uh, if my calculations are correct that should be and that should be 95 95 points or something like that yeah either way uh, it doesn't really matter uh, you will see it on the on the board because I will fix it uh, in post production of this video so uh, and uh, yes, yeah, so that's more or less everything I had to say. Oh, and we and the weekly challenge, I um, I did actually. I think I did finish my pox walks, walkers on uh, on time. So that uh, means that the, by day twenty eight, I got uh, my weekly challenge finished there. I did enjoy my re vacation, but I didn't have uh, um, any points for that. And then we have finished books, and I would consider that finish reading three books in that time would consider a finished goal so that's that's good for me my this week's challenge has been finish cultists pox walkers and two death guards i have finished all the cultists i'm finished with all the pox, walk, pox walkers i only have two death guard left to do and i'm considering if i should scrap that and just make it two other models and then we're finished but this makes that I am finished with two of the goals for my primary objectives, which is cultist and box fuckers. Right now I have death, I have death shroud, uh, ter terminators, plague marines, and uh, and such left. And when it comes to my secondary objective, which is prepare my next armies, I actually almost finished with that. I have a little bit more to go, is spraying a little bit more of the models, most prominently my death guard. But other than that, I am almost finished. And then when it comes to f uh, preparing models, we can take a closer look here what we have here in front of me. First of all, here in the background we have the Death Guard, which I'm currently doing. Regular Death Guard, Death Shroud, Tifus. Then next here we have Abaddon, an aspiring champion, a sorcerer and a, an apostle. These two are, are almost finished, if this not is finished. So they, they will be counted as points for tomorrow. And we're gonna kind of work on this one later. But the big news is this one. What I did during my vacation, which is something I've kept a little bit a secret, is that I've ordered a Magnus the Red from a guy on Facebook. It's like a Horus Heresy trading Horus Heresy trading group where you can buy and sell such. And a guy was selling his Magnus for a uh, um, two. 20 pounds cheaper price not including post postal service unfortunately it got a little bit more expensive with the postal services so i in all in all i earned almost 10 pounds on this deal the only slight issue is that i did have the the instruction manual with it so i couldn't put the model together in any ease, so I had to look it up on the internet. But I'm almost finished uh, with uh, applying all that. Uh, soon I'm gonna start a painting guy for him as well. Uh, so I haven't glued the parts together yet. And this comes the magic part. Uh, if you're familiar with me, is that I really like to have my options open. So I haven't glued the base together. I was actually trying to magnetize it. And at first I was gonna magnetize the. Um, the lower parts here because and then glue the whole of this bit together unfortunately there wasn't any good spots for getting big magnets in there and the smaller magnets couldn't hold it together 
So instead, I cut off this um, warp fire or whatever to call it. I cut them off in, uh, uh, around stone parts as you can see here. And then I put very huge magnets in there. And then put huge magnets in there. And then I sat for a whole evening and, ha and half a day uh, heating them up and trying to configure them so they could f line up together and uh, fit perfectly like this. So, so I can say this wasn't an easy part. It, so don't spray it until you're quite certain that they fit together without any problems. Then uh, I also, as you can see this part, I added a small magnet here and a small magnet, let's see, there, there. So we look, it fits, there's a small magnet in here and a small magnet in there, so they fit together like this. This base is uh, uh, available to be removed. I'm thinking about adding a magnet here and a magnet in here, so it will stick, stay together even further, but uh, that's uh, something for the future. Uh, this part uh, over here is uh, actually loose, so, so I had to glue it together to the part. And here is where I cut off with the knife uh, some of the rocks, so I could fit in a um, magnet in there. This part is also glued to the bigger part, to the bigger um, base. But yeah, so that's more or less everything I had to show you in this part. Uh, hopefully it's been interesting for you to see. Uh, and in the clips future there will be videos where I go in further details with the better background, um, background better lighting. And I will do a painting guide for Magnus Red, but here's my first showcase of him. So that's more or less everything I had for today. So thank you much for watching this. See you around. Bye bye.